the olive oil pavilion. The curator is Peggy Nickabacher, who's the author of Olive Oil from Tree to Table. The designer is Brett Turpeluk. He's an architect from Studio Turpeluk. The olive oil pavilion is a beautiful site. It consists of olive trees and bottles filled with olive oil uh, over a light track. It's really pretty stunning. You'll see that that's quite a bit different than the first one. The first one was more fruity, very mild. This is going to be bitter. You'll taste that in the back of your tongue. A little bit of pungency to some burning sensation. Some people find that unpleasant. It's, it's pretty bitter. That's crazy. It's to showcase California olive oils. All the oils here are grown in California. The olives are grown in California. They all certify the extra virgin. It's um, a booth run by the California Olive Oil Council, who is the body responsible now for certifying that the oils are extra virgin if the growers submit the oils to the council. And basically, it's just to expose people to the fact that this is the second biggest crop starting to be grown in California and the wonderful oils that are being produced. My name is Sandy Sonnenfeld. Are you associated with olive oil? Or? Yes, I'm on the uh, California Olive Oil Taste Panel. So I'm one of the people who certifies the oil. People look at these uh, more as a finishing oil, something you would put on food. After. You can cook with olive oil. You can even deep fry with it. It has a high uh, flash point. It's just that olive oil is pretty expensive. To, you, know, you want to cook deep fry with olive oil. So what a lot of people do is uh, they may saute with it, but then when the food is getting ready to be served, just dress it on top. You know? And you know, people try to pair different oils with different foods. A lot of it is just personal preference. I think like like this one, it's so bitter. I don't think you'd want to put that on fish. You know, just delicate food like that would destroy it. 